Hey guys, welcome back to the MBDBR Mad Scientist Shed where we answer all the hard questions like today. We're going to be having a bit of a try connecting up the GoPro Hero 12, the new model, uh, which supposedly has Bluetooth audio capabilities. And we're going to try and pair it up with the FOD Sports FX8 Air helmet comms to try and get audio, wireless audio, uh, through the microphone for the comms straight into the camera. Um, apparently it's supposed to work, but how well does it really work and is it going to be a feasible option for people that moto vlog? Now I have briefly played around with this, but not properly. I want to give it a decent test today. And one of the potential problems that I can see happening uh, I'm not sure if this is the case yet or not, but obviously you need to turn this camera on and pair it up with the FOD Sports before you can capture the audio. Now, when I'm recording on a ride, I turn the camera on and off with the quick capture button. So I don't turn the camera on and then record. Like I just use that record button, press it, the camera comes on, starts recording. When I'm ready to stop recording, press it again. Shut, stops recording and shuts the camera down. So my question is, if I'm doing that and it's paired up to the FOD Sports, will it automatically reconnect? So I'm going along, uh, hit record. This thing will have to, you know, connect up to the FOD Sports again before it starts recording. Um, I don't know how it works. Maybe, maybe as long as both are on and it has been paired, even when you stop this and turn it off, maybe the wireless connection stays active and it stays paired. So it will quickly reconnect and start capturing audio again, I don't know. So that's what we're going to find out because basically if you don't leave this on, powered on and paired up with that, in my mind, it's not going to work seamlessly. And you know, leaving this thing running all day, it's not going to last long with that battery in there. So yeah. So the first thing we're going to do obviously is pair it up. Um, I'll show you guys how that works, how easy it is. As I said, we are using the uh, FOD Sports FX8 Air in this example, but I think a lot of helmet comms is going to be the same process. All right, let's go over to the bench and uh, see how we go. So I'll power the camera on for starters. Go into the settings here and make sure that wireless connections are turned on. Okay, so because I've got my uh, comms paired up to my phone for music and uh, phone calls, what I'm going to do is just turn off the Bluetooth on my phone so that it doesn't cause any dramas. Now I'll turn on the FOD Sports and I put this into pairing mode by holding down that main button there until it flashes blue and red like so. Back on the camera screen, we'll go over to pair device here there you go Let's come up with the FOD Sports FX8 Air a little plus and I just heard the uh, FOD Sports say device connected so that's working what I'll do now is chuck the um, helmet on and set the camera just on the desk here somewhere I'll switch over to the audio that's coming through the uh, GoPro and uh, for starters just see if it's actually working. Alright so I have hit record on the GoPro 12. Um, hopefully you should be getting audio directly from the microphone in the helmet here um, which is you know, obviously connected to the FOD Sports. I'm uh, going to walk away over here. Hopefully, um, hopefully you can still hear me. So that's the uh, audio test. I'll just um, go outside here and see if you can still hear me. Check one, two, three, four. So uh, how is that audio? What I'll do now is quickly uh, just go inside, check this footage, and um, see if it's actually working. And uh, if it is, we'll jump on the bike, go for a ride, see how the wind noise is. I'll just try and show you guys where the microphone is, if you can see that right there that's the microphone for my comms it's not really wind protected there but um yeah, it seems to work for you know bike to bike helmet to helmet communication i just don't know how well it's going to work for the gopro audio but anyway we'll see 
All right, so after reviewing that footage from the GoPro, the audio actually sounds quite good. Like um, I've seen reviews of people doing this um, and pairing them up to earbuds and the audio sounded actually really terrible. So I'm pretty happy with the quality that's coming uh, from the FOD Sports. It sounds a lot better. The volume was really quite low. I had to boost it up quite a lot to make it sort of, you know, the same as the rest of the footage in this video so far but that's okay. So basically these are both being powered off now. The camera's been turned off uh, since I uploaded the footage onto my computer. Uh, this is being powered off. What I'm going to do is turn this back on, turn the camera back on, or hit record and just see if it pairs up automatically and uses the audio from this or what. Okay, so I'll just put this back on. Now I'll hit the quick capture on the GoPro. And yeah, it's recording without pairing up again, so. What I'll do is power it on without recording. Go back here. I just heard it say connected again, so. Okay. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's got the little microphone icon there next to the battery. So it's using the FOD Sports now. Stop recording. Turn it off. I heard it say device disconnected. I hit record again. So there you go, it's a little bit of a delay but it did connect again. So let's make sure it's using that audio again. Check one, two, three, four, five. Is this audio from the FOD Sports? Check one. Try that one more time. So yeah, it does seem to be connecting up automatically again, but as you saw that first time it didn't, so it could be a little bit hit and miss with that. So I don't know, even if the FOD Sports stays turned on and the camera's not recording for a while, um, will it still reconnect automatically? I don't know. That's sort of enough for me to not use this as a solution. I can see in some situations, you know, some of you guys might be happy with it, um, and have some sort of work around, or if you just leave the camera turned on and paired up the whole time you're using it, um, you know, it might be okay for you. But yeah, for me, it's it's a little bit hit and miss if it if it doesn't work on a certain clip and I miss some audio, some important audio, it could be a real bummer. But anyway, we'll definitely do the on the bike test and uh, you'll go for a bit of a ride and see how it fares. I've got to admit, I wish it was a reliable solution because how good would it be just having the camera, no microphone plugged in, no media mod. It would be a really good, you know, a good thing for some of you guys that can make it work for you. Uh, yeah, it would be cool, but yeah. Anyway. Alright, so I just hit record again, and uh, the uh, Ford Sports is rolling in back to the main thing we've done. So, yeah, I'm going to see how it goes. It's a bit busy every day on the microphone. I'm going to check it out. I think I'm going to have a look at the attack and go over it. I'm going to go over it. I'm going to go over it. I'm going to go over it. Okay, let's try that again. That first test was obviously a massive fail. So what actually happened there was uh, that was using quick capture. Now, when you hit the uh, hit the quick capture button just to start record, like switch the camera on and start recording straight away, it says that it's paired up pretty much straight away but it's not, it doesn't use the audio. That was just using the camera mics. This time I've switched the camera on and waited to it paired up before starting recording. Now it takes a while, maybe 20 or 30 seconds before it actually pairs up with the FOD Sports. And then after that, hit record and hopefully this is now using that audio. So we'll see how it turns out this time. So yeah, definitely using the quick capture button, no go, you gotta you got to turn that camera on, wait for it to pair up, then you can start recording. And that's going to be a little bit hard to do on the bike, unless, of course, you just leave that camera switched on the whole time. But, uh, yeah, that's not really 
an option for me. So at the moment I've got my uh, visor on the helmet up. Oh, I'll pop that down now. So, uh, you know, testing the audio with the uh, visor down. Should be a bit better. Hopefully it's a lot better than that last clip anyway. So yeah, look guys, if they could get it to work with that quick capture at all and then make it super reliable, that's going to be uh, a win and I would actually probably use it because can you imagine how good it would be using the GoPro like this again with wireless audio. The camera itself is fully waterproof without the media mod attached. You've got no mic microphones attached or anything like that. So you don't have to worry if it starts raining like it kind of looks like it's going to. Um, yeah, it's waterproof and just so much less hassle. And uh, as Mac... freaking easy to change out the battery without that fucking media mod on there like you instead of undoing all your mounts and pulling the whole thing apart all you're doing to change out a battery when it's like this is just popping that side off and popping a new battery and so much better so man. if you uh, if you got any ideas drop a comment below but uh, for me leaving the camera running all day even with my uh, power bank set up I just yeah I don't think it's gonna you know, work you know anyway guys when I get back home I'll uh, review this footage and um, yeah see how it's turned out and, uh, and then we'll wrap this video up well there you go guys what did you think of that audio a um, couple of things firstly cannot hear the bike noise can't hear wind noise which is good but can't even hear the bike, which is uh, you know, a bit of a downer for me. Obviously, the, you know the Ford Sports Bluetooth comms are designed in that way to cut out all the um, the wind noise and stuff, and that's why when you know I'm having a phone call through it, um, people can't even tell that I'm on the bike. Um, it really does a good job of cutting out that bike noise and wind noise and stuff. Um, a little bit over the top in this case, uh, not ideal. And also those couple of times when it dropped out and went weird, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a no-go for me. I'm not going to be using the uh, the Bluetooth audio at this stage. As I said, it could be useful for some of you guys. A couple of you wanted to see um, how it went, and I've given it a crack. Didn't turn out anywhere near as good as I hoped it might, but, you know, it is a new sort of thing for GoPro, so hopefully they can either, you know, I don't know, fix it up a bit in firmware, or maybe wait till the GoPro 13 and we'll have something better in that one. Who knows? But, yeah, you know, like when it was working, um, the audio is quite clear um, and if you like not having that bike noise in, in your video it might be good enough for you but then of course there is those little glitches that uh, yeah I don't know how we're gonna get around those uh, possibly that it's uh, interference from a mobile phone in my pocket or something like that I'm not too sure either way um, no good there is of course also that little problem of it not working with the quick capture so yeah you have to turn that camera on and wait for it to connect every time you want to do a clip so yeah, not ideal, but hey, you know, nothing's perfect. You know, hopefully uh, my efforts here have helped out some of you guys, given you a bit of guidance on whether or not it's worth upgrading to the 12 just for that Bluetooth audio. I would say probably not at this stage, but, you know, that's up to you at the end of the day. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video. Cheers.